From the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel, with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father Hank Van Meyl. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from the estate of Anne Bakovinsky from Sarnia, Ontario. This Mass is offered for all the living and deceased members of the Bakovinsky, Marcy and Gavilak families. Or thanks to the estate of Anne Bakovinsky for making it possible for tens of thousands of the faithful across Canada and around the world to begin a new week with the sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And as we have placed ourselves before the Lord on the solemnity of St. Peter and Paul, we again recall that just like St. Peter and Paul, we need God's guidance. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O God, O, o Lord, our God, that we may sustain by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as though, as through them, you gave your church the foundation of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to him 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. I love St. Peter and Paul on this solemnity. Actually, it's the, martyr, the solemnity of the martyrdom of St. Peter and Paul, and they both got murdered. We're not really sure, but uh, both murdered in Rome, somewhere around the year 65, 65 somewhere, give or take a few years. And when we go to our gospel reading, Peter, he, he acknowledges that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is God. His divine side, God, inspired him to say that. And when we go a few lines further in verse 23, when Jesus says he has to suffer, he says, no, 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 no. How can you be suffering? And Jesus says, you're not thinking in divine ways. You are thinking in human ways. Get behind me, Satan. How human? How human for me as a person, but also for all of us. It is so as we stumble through life, Sometimes we say the right things. Sometimes, well, we just stick our foot in it. And it's the same for St. Paul. St. Paul, who's really a murderer, he was right there encouraging people to murder St. Stephen. Throw a stone at those people. Kill him. Get rid of him. And then God interjects, and he, so, so, so to speak, he smartens up stumbling through life. And, and so also we have two people, St. Peter, a fisherman, no education, and he's broken. St. Paul, the Pharisee, highly educated. In today's world, we would say he probably has two PhDs and he wrote a couple of books. And then he realizes that he knows nothing because he Again, he, um, as a Pharisee, it was uh, instilled on him, you have to live 
by the letter of the law. As long as you do all these little things, then you're going to be safe. Very external. It's not that, that the law was wrong, but it was about the, uh, uh, taking the boxes off, doing all these right things. But where the, where the heart was, it was not that important, as long as you did the outside things. And so when we go to our, uh, the second letter of Timothy, and Paul, probably written from, from Rome, and Paul is looking back over his life. I ran the race. I ran the race. And he also, he, uh, he looks back and, and as he realizes that he stumbled through life, but also how God interjected in his own foolishness, how God continuously tried to bring good out of bad and continuously tried to teach uh, uh, St. Paul as he stumbled through life, as he made, made mistakes, but also as he showed so much courage. There is much to be learned of for us in, uh, in these two people. And I, have, I presume that many of us, as in our TV mass community, are a little bit uh, mature, shall we say, uh, over 37. But as we get a little bit older, it is so important to look back, to look over our life in gratitude, in gratitude. It is so easy for us, as we get older, to look back and we can say, oh, if only I would have done this or that or whatever, or if only my son would have, or my daughter, and we can go on and on, and it's kind of really depressing. While it is, as we get older, to look over our life journey and to look at how God interjected in all of that, how God continues to try to bring good out of it. God did not ask miracles of you and me. Well, if God is going to uh, work a miracle through you or me, uh, by all means. But all what God asks is that we each in our own way do our best with what we know. I can look back over my own life and I can easily say all kinds of uh, times that I say, oh, if I only would have done this or that. How could I be so short-sighted or whatever? But there's a different way of looking at life. Lord, what did you teach me as I stumbled through life? What did I learn from my shortcomings? What are you teaching me? Lord, may my silly foolishness, my short-sightedness, may it be used for the good of your kingdom. May only good come from it. It's turning things around. It's celebrating our blessed history. Each one of us is born in a certain culture, a certain culture which teaches certain things. Each one of us is born in a certain family, a family which had also a suffering history and so on, and a blessed history. We get all good and bad things out of our culture, out of our families, out of our life experience. But it's always giving it to God and say, God, use it for the good. Use it for the good of your kingdom. May I evangelize by my brokenness. And again, I've said this many times, mistakes, short-sightedness is not a problem, but it's coming to terms with it. It is coming also having the courage to say, I apologize. So often, especially on a deathbed, that there can be real healing between uh, different siblings, but also between parents and children, where there has been so much pain, and that we can come in that last breath, that we can come to a healing. You're forgiven. 
I forgive you. Let's forget it. Let's only bring good out of it. And then the loved one has a peaceful death. It is so important. And so say, I invite you to sit with those readings of today and reflect on your own life as you look back over it. And let God again teach us through these readings in the silence of our hearts. Amen. And so, as on this solemnity, we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, O Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And so let us bring our prayers before the Lord. We pray for all those in the Daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intention book, especially those who are facing significant transitions in their activities, health, relationships, and finances. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for caregivers in our care nursing homes and care centers who tend to the needs of our elderly. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of years granted in our time to so many men and women in the second half of life. We thank you for their presence in our community, for their life experience, their courage and wisdom, their witness of faith. We ask your blessing upon them as they live the many transitions that are part of maturing years. Be with them, keep them in your care, Grant them peace and enable them to be beacons of hope in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for all the good and good of all the holy church. May the prayers of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration and may their intercession make us devout to you in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Come up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy, Peter foremost, in confessing the faith. Paul is outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church for the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that, they all, they, that you call. And so, each in a different way, gather together the one family of Christ and revered Together throughout the world, they shared one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis or Pope, Thomas or Bishop, the Canadian bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have called your own. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. With those of you at home, join with me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul made steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. If you'd like to sponsor a Mass or share in sponsoring a Mass, please call our office at 1-888-383-6277 for details.